CBSE Class 9 First Term Experiment Number 1 Food Sample Test for Starch and Adulteration Introduction Food Food is eaten by us because it provides us with energy, builds our body, offers resistance against many diseases caused due to improper diet. It keeps our body healthy and fit. Starch it is a complex form of carbohydrates. Plants prepare glucose which is stored in the form of starch in roots, stem and leaves. For example, potato, rice, wheat grains, sweet potato etc. are some foods rich in starch. Real-time example. Food sample test observe the following. The packed food item should have the mark of PFA, AGMAC or BIS. The food packets and containers should be checked for expiry date. Attractively colored food items example spices like turmeric powder, red chili powder should not be purchased as it may contain harmful synthetic dye. Materials record Test tube, test tube stand and dropper. Chemicals record Given food sample, iodine solution. Procedure Take a clean test tube and add a little given food sample and water in it. Add few drops of iodine solution in the starch solution. Shake the contents of the test tube. Observe the changes in color. Observation The color of the given food sample changes to blue-black on adding iodine solution to it. Conclusion The given sample of food contains starch. To test the presence of the adulterant methanyl yellow in dal. Procedure Take any dal in a test tube, add 2 to 3 ml of water and shake well. Add 2 to 3 drops of hydrochloric acid in the test tube. Shake the contents. Record your observation. Observation a pink color solution appears in the test tube. Conclusion The given sample of dal contains methanyl yellow adulteration. CBSE Class 9 First Term Experiment Number 2 Solution Collides and Suspension Introduction True Solution A solution that has solute particles of size smaller than 1 nanometer in diameter and cannot be seen with naked eyes. They do not scatter a beam of light. The particles do not separate by filtration. Suspension It is a heterogeneous mixture in which solute particles do not dissolve but remain suspended. Particles can be seen with naked eyes. It scatters a beam of light. Particles can be separated from the mixture by filtration. Colloidal Solution the solution appears to me homogeneous. The particles can scatter a beam of light. They do not settle down when left undisturbed. It is stable and particles cannot be seen by naked eyes. The particles cannot be filtered. Real-time example. To study solution, collides, suspension, is helpful to know the properties of homogeneous and heterogeneous mixture of solute, solvent, and combined solution. Apparatus record test tubes, test tube stand, a glass rod, funnel, tripod stand, filter paper, torch, and china dish. Chemicals record common salt, sugar crystals, alum powder, chalk powder, fine stand, raw egg, fine soil from garden, and distilled water. Procedure A. To prepare a true solution of common salt, sugar and alum. True solution of common salt. Take clean test tube, pour 2 to 5 ml of distilled water in it and add dry common salt in it. Stir the content with a glass rod. Common salt dissolves completely to form a true solution. True solution of sugar. Take a clean, dry test tube and add 2 to 5 ml of distilled water in it. 
Pour few sugar crystals in it and stir the content with a glass rod. The sugar dissolves in water to form true solution. B. To prepare a suspension of soil, chalk powder and sand in water. Suspension of soil in water. Take 2 to 5 ml of distilled water. Add half a pinch of garden soil. Stir well. Keep the test tube on the stand. Record your observation. Suspension of chalk powder in water. Take 2 to 5 ml of distilled water in a test tube. Add a pinch of chalk powder in it. Stir well and record your observation. Suspension of sand in water. Take 2 to 5 ml of distilled water. Add half a pinch of fine sand in it. Stir well. Keep the test tube on sand and record your observation. C. To prepare colloidal solution of starch, egg albumin in water. Colloidal solution of starch in water. Now take 5 to 10 ml of hot boiling water and pour the contents in the boiling water. Allow the contents to cool. Record your observation. Colloidal solution of egg albumin in water. Take 10 ml of warm water in test tube. Separate the white portion of the egg from the yellow part. Add a very small quantity of egg albumin to the test tube. Stir the contents thoroughly with the help of a glass rod. To check transparency, place three test tubes on the stand and flash a beam of light to check the transparency. Record your observation. To check filtration criterion, take tripod stand, place a funnel over tripod stand. Fix the filter paper in the funnel and check for the filtration criterion. Record your observation. Record your observation.
record your observation. To check stability criterion, take three test tubes with a collide, suspension and true solution in each respectively. Shake all the test tubes and keep them in the test tube stand. Allow it to stand for 5 minutes. Record your observations. CBSE Class 9 First Term Experiment Number 3 Mixture and Compound Introduction Element An element is a pure substance that cannot be broken down into simpler substances. It has one type of atoms. Compound A compound is a pure substance which is formed when two or more than two substances or elements combine chemically together. The elements combine in a fixed ratio, example, water, iron sulphide. Mixture When two or more substances mix together, without undergoing any chemical change, it is called mixture. The properties of a constituent remain the same and they can be easily separated. Real-time example To study this experiment, it is helpful to know about pure substances like element, compounds, homogeneous and heterogeneous function of a mixture. Apparatus record Test tube Test tube stand Holder Bunsen burner Magnet China dish and a watch glass. Chemicals record Iron fillings Sulfur powder and carbon disulfide. Procedure Preparation of a mixture of iron and sulfur powder. Take a pinch of iron fillings and two pinch of sulfur powder mix them thoroughly the product obtained is mixture of iron and sulfur keep it in a watch glass a preparation of a compound of iron and sulfur take a pinch of iron filling and a pinch of sulfur powder in a hot glass test tube hold it in a test tube holder heat it on the flame till the contents glow the reaction between sulfur and the iron fillings is seen in the test tube and iron sulfide is formed. Transfer the compound formed in a watch glass B. Observe for appearance. Watch glass A shows heterogeneous mixture and watch glass B shows a black mass of homogeneous substance. Action with magnet a bar magnet is rolled over both the watch glasses A and B. Iron particles cling to magnet from watch glass A but not in B. Behavior towards carbon disulfide Take components from watch glasses A and B in separate test tubes and add carbon disulfide in it. In test tube A, Sulfur dissolves in carbon disulfide and iron settles down, whereas in other test tube, nothing dissolves. Effect of heat On heating, mixture from watch glass, the components react together to form a component, but no change is seen in compound from watch glass B. CBSE Class 9 First Term Experiment Number 4 Types of reactions and changes. Introduction Physical change Change which is reversible and temporary and no new substance is formed is called a physical change. The substance undergoing this change retain their properties. Chemical change The change in which two or more substances react to form a new product with a new properties is called a chemical change. This type of change is mostly irreversible. In chemical reactions, the heat is involved, bubbles may be given out, colors or the pH may change. Real-time examples Real-time examples for chemical process are rusting of iron in air, preparation of food, and then milk turning to curd. Apparatus required Test tubes, test tube stand, test tube holder, 
Bunsen burner. Chemicals required. Iron fillings, copper sulfate solution, magnesium ribbon, zinc granules, dilute sulfuric acid, sodium sulfate and barium chloride solutions and copper sulfate crystals. Procedure 1. Take copper sulfate solution in a test tube and add pinch of iron fillings in it. After 5 to 10 minutes, the blue color of CuSO4 solution changes to green color. Iron fillings gets coating of reddish brown copper metal. 2. Hold a small piece of magnesium ribbon and burn it on Bunsen burner. It burns with dazzling white flame and forms white powdery mass of magnesium oxide. Add magnesium oxide to a test tube containing water and test it with the litmus paper. Red litmus turns blue. Magnesium hydroxide is basic in nature. Take 5 ml of dilute H2SO4 solution in a test tube and add a zinc granule in it. Test hydrogen gas by bringing a burning matchstick near the mouth of the test tube. Hydrogen gas burns with a pop sound. 4. Heat copper sulfate crystals in a dry test tube. Take small portion of white powder obtained in the reaction. Add water to it. Water vapor comes out and condenses near the mouth of the test tube. Blue color of crystals fades and turns into white powder. Copper sulfate is hydrated. 5. Take a solution of sodium sulfate and barium chloride and mix it. A white precipitate is formed on keeping the test tube on stand for some time. Two layers of barium sulfate with colorless sodium chloride is obtained. CBSC Class 9 First Term Experiment Number 5 Slide of Onion Peel and Cheek Cells Introduction Cell It is the structural and functional unit of all living things. Plant cell. Example, onion cell. It contains a cell wall and prominent nucleus and plastids. Animal cell. Example, cheek cells. It consists of no cell wall and prominent nucleus and no plastids present. Apparatus required. Onion, slides, cover slips, watch glass, petri dish, forceps, Needles, droppers, glycerin, blade or knife, saffron in solution and a microscope. Procedure Take a medium sized onion, cut its outer surface with a knife. Remove the peel of onion. With the help of needle, separate the small portion of epidermis. Keep dilute saffron in solution in a watch glass. Put the small peel in the swatch glass with brush and allow it to stain for 3 to 5 minutes. Take a dry and a clean cover slip and gently place it on the slide with the help of needle such that no air bubbles enter into it and place it under the lens of the microscope and record your observation. Observation The cells under observation are the plant cells. It consists of cell wall and large vacuoles. The nucleus is very prominent and is clearly visible. Inference Plant cells shows the following. It consists of a cell wall. The nucleus is prominent and present at the periphery of cytoplasm. Now, let us prepare a stained temporary mount of human cheek cells. Procedure Make a dilute methylene blue solution in a watch glass. Take a clean or unused toothpick and scrap the inner wall of your mouth or cheek gently to obtain the epithelial animal tissue. After 2 to 3 minutes, place the cover slip gently on the cheek cell with the help of a needle and avoid the air bubble. Place the slide and a microscope and absorb it. Observations Cells with irregular shapes are seen. A prominent nucleus is seen in the middle of the cell. 
A thin membrane called plasma membrane is visible at the boundary of each cell. The cells do not show any intercellular space. No big vacuoles and cell wall is seen. Inference The cells absorbed under the microscope do not have cell wall and big vacuoles. These are the cells of animals. CBSC Class 9 First Term Experiment Number 6 Plant and Animal Tissues Introduction Tissues Large numbers of specialized cells with similar function is called a tissue. Plant tissues. There are three types of plant tissues. Dermal, ground and vascular. Animal tissues. Different types of animal tissues are epithelial tissue, muscular tissues, connective tissue. Real-time example. This experiment will help us to study about the plant tissues and its components like Parenchyma, colenchyma, sclerenchyma, xylem, ploem, and the animal tissues and its components like epithelial, connective, muscular, and nervous. Apparatus record Permanent slides of parenchyma tissue, sclerenchyma tissue, striped muscle fiber, nerve cell, and compound microscope. Place the permanent slides one by one. Observe its structure and draw diagrams. Observations First, plant tissue. Parenchymatous tissues. All cells are same in size and length. Corners of cells shows intercellular spaces. Each cell shows prominent nucleus and a large central vacuole. Each cell has thin cell walls. Intercellular spaces are present in between the cells. Clearant chymatous tissues. These cells show thick corners and thick cell walls. They do not have any protoplasm in it. They show lignified walls. They can be divided into two types. Clearant chyma fibers and sclerites. These cells are dead. Colon chymatous tissues. The cells of chlorine chyma may be oval or elongated. Each cell consists of central nucleus with cytoplasm at the periphery. Cell walls are thickened at the corners. The thickening is due to cellulose and pectin. Intercellular space is absent. These cells are commonly seen below the epidermis in petal, leaf and stem. Its main function is to provide mechanical strength. Number 2. Animal Tissue Striated Muscles These muscles show long cylindrical fibers. The cells are multinucleated. The muscles show alternate dark and light bands. The cells are surrounded and held by connective tissue. non striated muscles are smooth muscles. The cells are spindle shaped. Nucleus is centrally located. These muscles do not show dark and light bands striation. non striated muscles are involuntary in nature. They are found in blood vessels and in alimentary canal. Cardiac muscles. Cardiac muscle cells are long, branched and uninucleate. They show alternate light and dark bands. These are involuntary muscles. They are seen only in the walls of heart. They are non-tiring muscles and responsible for rhythmic contraction and relaxation of heart muscles throughout life. Nerve cell. The nerve cell has a neuron with a large body called cyton. The cyton has a prominent nucleus. It has projections called dendrites. One of the dendrites which is long called axon. The nerve endings are attached to muscles. CBSE Class 9 First Term Experiment Number 7 Separation of Mixture Introduction Mixture Mixture consists of substances which retains their properties and can be easily separated 
by knowing their constituents. The separation of mixture is generally done by the common techniques as follows. Filtration, sublimation, separation funnel, distillation, fractional distillation. Real-time example. Natural substances are not chemically pure. Different methods of separation are used to get individual components from a mixture. But before separating any components from a mixture, one must have sound knowledge of its physical and chemical properties so that separation can be done with easy. In this experiment, we separate mixture of salt and stan by following processes. They are sublimation, sedimentation, filtration and evaporation. Apparatus required. A china dish, tripod sand, a wire gas, a Bunsen burner, glass funnels, cotton, a glass rod, a beaker and filter paper. Chemicals required. Sand, common salt, camphor powder and distilled water. Procedure. Sublimation. Separation of camper from the given mixture. Take a tripod stand. Place a wire gas over it. Keep the china dish with a given mixture on the wire gas. Place the glass funnel in an inverted position on the mixture and plug the stem hole of the funnel with cotton. Heat the mixture with Bunsen burner for few minutes. Remove the funnel to collect the deposited ammonium chloride on the funnel. The left out mixture has only salt and sand. B. Sedimentation and filtration. Separation of sand from the mixture. The mixture left in the last step of sublimation is transferred into a beaker. Add some 5 to 10 ml of distilled water into the mixture and stir it with glass rod. Make a cone of filter paper as shown in the diagram. Fix this cone in the glass funnel. Place the funnel over tripod stand. Place a clean beaker under the stem of the funnel. Now transfer the solution into the funnel with filter paper for filtration slowly. Residue collected on the filter paper is sand and the filtrate is salt solution. C. Evaporation Separation of common salt The filtrate obtained in the beaker in previous step consists of common salt solution. Transfer it to the china dish. Place the china dish on tripod sand with Bunsen burner and heat it with small flame till all water gets evaporated. The salt is collected in the china dish as all the water is evaporated. CBSE Class 9 First Term Experiment Number 8 Melting Point of Ice and Boiling Point of Water Introduction Melting Point It is defined as a temperature at which the solid changes its phase into liquid at atmospheric pressure. Boiling Point It is defined as a temperature at which the liquid changes its phase to gas at the atmospheric pressure. Real-time example. This experiment helps to study about the melting and boiling point of water. The boiling point of pure water is 100 degrees Celsius. The impure water will boil over the range of temperature. Boiling point increases on addition of soluble salts in it. If pressure is increased, the boiling point increases. Pure substances show fixed melting point. Impure substances which melt over a range of temperature. Melting point decreases if some impurities are added to pure substance. If pressure is increased, melting point is decreased. Apparatus record. Thermometer, iron stands, a Bunsen burner, wire gas, beakers, tripod stand, distilled water, ice cubes, prepared from distilled water. Procedure To determine the boiling point of water, take 25 to 30 ml of water in a round bottom flask, place the flask on a tripod stand and fix a thermometer in it. 
read the temperature and record it in the given observation table till the water boils. Record the reading after the time interval of 1 minute. To determine the melting point of ice, take a beaker half filled with a dry crushed ice obtained from distilled water. Suspend the Celsius thermometer that the bulb of the thermometer is completely surrounded by ice. Read the thermometer and record the temperature after every one minute till the ice melts and the thermometer reading remains stationary for two minutes. CBSC Class 9 First Term Experiment Number 9 Relationship between weight of a body and force required to just move it. Introduction Friction Friction is the force that is created whenever two surfaces move or try to move across each other. Friction always opposes the motion. Friction is dependent on the texture of both surfaces and on the contact area of two bodies. Real-time example When a force is applied on an object to overcome its static friction, this force is called force of static friction. To stop a moving object, a force must act in its opposite direction to the direction of motion. The force that opposes the motion of an object is called friction. The force of friction depends upon both surfaces in contact and the normal force. Moving of an object depends on its friction and the texture of the surface. Apparatus required A bench, wooden slab, slotted weights, weight box and a spring balance. Force that opposes the motion of an object is called friction. The force of friction depends upon both surfaces in contact and the normal force. Procedure Find the least count of the spring balance. Measure the weight of the wooden block with the hook. Arrange the setup with a wooden block in the horizontal surface and connect it with a spring balance. Now absorb the